What if a self-powered aircraft could change the face of Africa? Prepare to be amazed as Maxwell Chikumbutso's groundbreaking flight from Zimbabwe to Cairo takes flight, showcasing the potential of innovation to reshape the continent's future. This is more than just a flight. It's a historic journey. Witness the remarkable story of Maxwell Chikumbutso's self-powered aircraft as it embarks on a trans-African expedition, pushing the boundaries of human ingenuity and leaving an indelible mark on the continent. Get ready to be inspired. Join us as we witness the power of human spirit and innovation in action. Maxwell Chikumbutso's historic flight across Africa is a testament to the boundless possibilities that lie ahead for the continent. The dream began in a small workshop in Harare, where Maxwell Chikambutso, a self-taught inventor, dared to imagine the impossible. With no formal engineering degree but an unshakable belief in his vision, he set out to build an aircraft that defied conventional power systems. His goal was audacious, to fly from Zimbabwe to Cairo using an entirely self-sustaining energy source. The significance of this journey extends far beyond aviation. It represents Africa's untapped potential for homegrown innovation. For decades, the continent has been viewed through the lens of dependency, but Chikumbutso's mission shatters that narrative. His aircraft, powered by a revolutionary electromagnetic propulsion system, challenges the very foundations of modern aviation. Skeptics dismissed his ideas as fantasy, but Maxwell remained undeterred, fueled by a vision of an Africa leading the world in technological breakthroughs. The road to this historic flight was paved with setbacks, financial struggles, and moments of doubt. Yet, with each obstacle, Chikambutso and his small team grew more determined to prove that Africa could birth its own solutions. Local communities in Zimbabwe rallied behind him, offering support in whatever way they could, some donating materials, others volunteering their skills. This was not just one man's dream. It became a collective mission to redefine what Africa could achieve. Months turned into years as the aircraft slowly took shape, its design evolving through countless trials and errors. Every bolt, every wire, every circuit was a testament to relentless perseverance. The team worked tirelessly, often through the night, driven by the belief that their creation would one day soar across the continent. Finally, the day arrived. The aircraft stood ready on the runway, its sleek frame gleaming under the African sun. A crowd had gathered, buzzing with excitement, their eyes fixed on the machine that carried the hopes of a nation. As the engines hummed to life, a hush fell over the spectators, the weight of the moment sinking in. With a deep breath, Chikambutso guided the aircraft forward, its wheels lifting off the ground as cheers erupted below. The dream had taken flight, literally and symbolically. The journey across Africa was nothing short of epic, with each leg presenting new challenges and triumphs. From the vast savannas of Kenya to the bustling cities of Ethiopia, the aircraft became a beacon of inspiration. Villagers lined up along its flight path, waving flags and chanting in celebration of this historic feat in every country. The reaction was the same, awe, pride, and a renewed sense of possibility. Local media followed the journey closely, broadcasting updates to millions who tuned in with bated breath. Children gazed at the skies, dreaming of becoming the next Maxwell Chikambutso, the next great African innovator. The flight was more than a technological marvel. It was a unifying force, reminding Africans of their shared potential. As the aircraft crossed into Egyptian airspace, the magnitude of the achievement became undeniable. Cairo's skyline emerged on the horizon, a glittering testament to human ambition and endurance. Thousands had gathered at the landing site, their cheers echoing as the wheels touched down. Maxwell Chikambutso stepped out, not just as an inventor, but as a symbol of what Africa could achieve when belief meets action. The impact of this journey will be felt for generations, inspiring a new wave of innovators across the continent. Governments and investors took notice pledging support for homegrown technological advancements. Universities incorporated Chikambutso's story into their curricula, ensuring that future engineers would learn from his legacy. The flight from Zimbabwe to Cairo was not the end. It was just the beginning. Africa's future is no longer a distant dream. It is being written today by visionaries like Maxwell Chikambutso. The question now is, 
What will we do to support the next great leap forward? The answer lies in believing, investing, and daring to dream as boldly as he did. The skies are no longer the limit, they are just the starting point. The wheels of Maxwell Chikambuzo's aircraft had barely come to a stop in. Cairo before the world began to grasp the full weight of what had just been achieved. This was not merely a successful flight. It was the birth of a new era for African innovation. One where limitations were discarded and ambition took flight. As the sun set over the pyramids, casting long shadows over the cheering crowds, it was clear that this moment would ripple far beyond the tarmac. The aircraft itself, now silent after its historic journey, stood as a physical testament to what sheer determination could accomplish. Every weld, every circuit, every drop of sweat that had gone into its creation now carried a story that would inspire millions. Scientists and engineers from across the globe clamored for details, struggling to comprehend how a self-taught inventor had achieved what major aerospace corporations had deemed impossible. African leaders, once hesitant to invest in homegrown technology, now saw the undeniable proof that the continent could lead, not follow. In boardrooms from Lagos to Johannesburg, discussions shifted from skepticism to possibility. How could this breakthrough be replicated, scaled, and integrated into Africa's future? The youth, most importantly, watched with wide eyes, their minds alight with new dreams that no longer felt out of reach. Social media erupted with hashtags like hashtag African innovation and hashtag Chikambutso effect, as young people shared their own inventions, no longer afraid to think big. Universities reported a surge in engineering applications, with students citing Maxwell's journey as their reason for believing they too could change the world. Workshops and innovation hubs sprouted across the continent, fueled by a renewed sense of purpose and the understanding that Africa's problems required African solutions. Governments, under pressure from this grassroots wave of enthusiasm, began allocating unprecedented funding to STEM education and local research initiatives. Investors who had once overlooked the continent now scrambled to back the next Maxwell Chikambuzo, realizing that Africa was not just a market. It was a wellspring of untapped genius. The flights route, from Zimbabwe through Zambia, Tanzania, Kenya, Ethiopia, Sudan, and finally Egypt, became a symbolic map of unity, proving that borders were no match for shared ambition. In each of these nations, local engineers and students retraced the aircraft's path, not just as a pilgrimage, but as a promise to continue the journey forward. Maxwell himself, now a household name, refused to let fame distract him from the mission. This was never about me, he repeated in countless interviews, redirecting the spotlight toward the collective potential of African minds. He established the Chikambuzo Innovation Foundation, a platform to mentor young inventors and provide them with the tools he had lacked in his early years. Within months, the foundation's first prototypes, ranging from solar-powered irrigation systems to portable medical labs, began emerging, each carrying the same spirit of fearless innovation. Critics who had dismissed his work as a fluke fell silent as international aerospace experts validated his technology, some even calling it the future of sustainable aviation. Major global institutions, from the United Nations to MIT, extended invitations not just to honor him, but to learn from him. Yet, for all the accolades, Maxwell's greatest pride remained the sight of children in rural villages building their own miniature aircraft from scrap metal, their imaginations unshackled. The flight to Cairo had done more than demonstrate a technological marvel. It had rewritten the narrative of what Africa could be. Where once the world saw only challenges, they now saw champions. Where once Africans waited for solutions, they now built their own. The journey was over, but the movement had just begun. And as Maxwell often reminded anyone who would listen, this is not the end. This is the first page of a new story, one where Africa soars. The story of Maxwell Chikambuzo's historic flight from Zimbabwe to Cairo does not end with the landing of his self-powered aircraft. It does not end with the cheers of the crowd, the flashing cameras, or the headlines that spread across the world. This story is not confined to a single moment in time. It is a spark that has ignited a fire, one that will burn for generations. Africa has always been a continent of untold potential, a land where brilliance thrives despite limited resources, 
where innovation is born not from abundance but from necessity. Maxwell's journey is proof that the greatest revolutions often begin in the quietest places, in a small workshop, with nothing but a dream and the refusal to accept impossible. His flight was more than a triumph of engineering. It was a declaration that Africa's future will not be written by outsiders, but by its own people. For too long, the narrative has been one of dependency, of waiting for solutions, for investment, for permission to rise. That era is over. What Maxwell and his team accomplished was not just a technological breakthrough, it was a reawakening of belief. Every child who watched that aircraft soar now knows, without a doubt, that they too can defy expectations. Every young inventor tinkering in a backyard or a makeshift lab no longer sees themselves as an underdog but as a pioneer. The real legacy of this flight is not the aircraft itself but the shift in mindset it has triggered across the continent. Governments are now under pressure to invest in homegrown innovation, to create ecosystems where ideas are nurtured rather than stifled. Corporations can no longer ignore the genius bubbling up from local communities. They must engage, collaborate, and invest. The world is watching, not with pity but with respect, as Africa steps into its rightful place as a leader in sustainable technology. But this is only the beginning. The true test lies in what happens next in whether this momentum is sustained or allowed to fade. Will this moment be remembered as a turning point or just another fleeting inspiration? That depends on all of us. It depends on whether African leaders prioritize science and technology as pillars of development, not just in speeches, but in budgets and policies. It depends on whether investors shift from short-term profit chasing to long-term belief in African ingenuity. It depends on whether the global community recognizes Africa not as a charity case but as an equal partner in shaping the future. Most of all, it depends on whether the next generation of Maxwell Chikambutsos is given the tools, the education, and the opportunities to build even greater wonders. The aircraft that flew from Zimbabwe to Cairo was not made in a high-tech lab with unlimited funding. It was built through sheer will, through late nights and setbacks, through the kind of determination that no obstacle can break. Imagine what could happen if that same spirit were met with real support, with funding, with infrastructure, with global collaboration. The possibilities are limitless. This is not just about aviation. It is about medicine, agriculture, energy, and every other field where Africa's challenges can become the world's solutions. It is about rewriting history, not as victims of circumstance, but as architects of a new reality. Maxwell's flight was a single journey, but its true destination was the minds of millions. The question now is, where do we go from here? The answer is simple, forward. Forward into an Africa where innovation is not the exception but the norm. Forward into a world where the phrase African technology carries the same weight as Silicon Valley startup. Forward into a future where no dream is too big, no idea too bold, no ambition too far out of reach. The sky was never the limit. It was only the beginning. And as Africa rises, the world will have no choice but to look up.